When is the last time that you buy food in a supermarket? Could you tell me how many types of food you are exposed to? As consumers, we are always fascinated with the variety of food that are available for us. Sometimes, we assume that we always have the freedom of choice to buy whatever food we want. But what if our choice are actually affected by a psychological influence of the design of the food? Welcome to Food Psychology, and welcome to My Psychology. As consumers, we tend to attach our emotions with the products that we purchase. If the products that we purchase provided us with satisfaction and pleasure, we are inclined to buy more of it. That's why food manufacturers often design the packages in a way to increase the positive impression of their products and hence triggers our positive emotions towards their products. In the end, their sales will increase. Color is one of the first impressions of a food product can create and it actually influences our decisions the fastest when compared to the text descriptions or the graphical designs on a food product. Thus, we can see how food packaging features appropriate colors for various types of food. For example, fast food is mostly packaged in red color to stimulate our appetite. For wine and gourmet items, they are always packaged in earthy and tasty looking colors rather than bright colors. In line with idea of saving environment, Eco-friendly foods are mostly packaged in green color to convey environmental friendly messages. To catch our attention to their products, food companies might use different packaging designs for the same product because customers tend to perceive the products differently if it's packaged with a new design, even though the contents remain unchanged. In sum, our perceptions will change our sensations according to the design of the food's packaging. Besides, people who want to look fit and good but they are not naturally good at controlling their eating habits are prone to eat more when the food are processed into smaller size. As they tend to perceive bite-sized foods such as chocolates and sweets as having low calories and fats. Why? It's because we might think that the food looks small and they are less likely to cause diabetes and obesity. Yes. Thinking in this way might lead you to eat more than what you actually need. Does this look familiar? Do you know that unwrapped sweets actually have fire sales than wrapped sweets? It's because it established a hand-to-mouth platform in which people can pop the sweets into their mouth easily and quickly instead of wasting time to unwrap the sweets. So, is it to say that we are helpless to this external psychological influence? Not necessary. By understanding how food design and packaging affects us help us to become more aware of our food choice and will even reduce our chance of succumbing to overeating. For example, every time we finish a small packet, we can remind ourselves that hey, I'm supposed to finish one only. No, you're not supposed to beat me. You already beat my brother. Don't eat, don't eat, don't eat, don't eat. And that is how we might reduce our overeating behaviors by changing our mindset. Please leave a comment on what you want to know in the next video. Oh, don't forget to subscribe us to view more videos. Remember a moment of the leaf forever of notice. Mm. So, choose wisely, my friend. Bye! This is a team. Yeah, I'm not going to die. 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 Remember a moment of the leaf forever of notice. <laughs>